Hello everyone, it's Sharon here from Penguin Pilots. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'll be playing with the Abstract Blossom Stencils 360. This stencil came out recently and it is part of our 4th anniversary release. This one has got to be one of my favorites because it gives you amazing results with minimal time and effort. And I'll show you what I mean with a few examples. Now onto my first example. I'm using the 7.5 inch paper positioner for a large canvas. I'm starting with the alignment marker pointing at 12 o'clock as usual and inking with distressed oxide sponge sugar. You'll notice that this stencil is made of transparent mylar while most of the other ones we have are in milky white. Since this particular design covers a large part of the stencil, even with just minimal number of turns, it is going to give you a lot of overlays. Therefore, if the stencil is clear, you'll have a much better visual on the inked pattern after each turn without having to lift your stencil up. So I have just finished inking with sponge sugar and I'm going to turn the stencil at 30 degrees, meaning I'm going to align the marker to the next circle on the base. Now onto the final round. I'm using worn lipstick this time. Keep in mind that in this case it doesn't matter whether this next circle is a solid or it's just an outline shape because the notation only comes in handy when we're doing alternating colors where we would want to ink all the solid stops and then move on to the outline stops. So with that sequence, you'll minimize the number of times you need to clean your stencil. This background I'm doing only takes two turns. But look at the amazing results. Now before I turn this into cards, let's try a few more. For the first round of inking, I used tumbled glass and then onto the next heart symbol, I used shader lilac. And I only realized after the fact that I actually skipped a heart symbol when my little boy came in with his play-doh. <laughs> but it's easy enough that I went back and inked at the heart symbol which I missed using cracked pistachio. Now look at the incredible overlays. It gives so much depth to the design. You see, it doesn't get any easier. There's no need to layer multiple stencils. Just one stencil and with a few turns you have a gorgeous floral design. Now I'm going to show you what you're going to get if you rotate it at an even smaller turning interval, which is 15 degrees, i.e. jumping from square to square. This time I'm using salvaged patina distressed oxide all the way. Also I'm going to do things a little different. This time I'm going to tape my stencil to the guide ring and spin them both together as one. To complete this design, I rotated my stencil for 5 turns. Here's a quick comparison. You can see the design variations you can achieve just by changing the turning interval. On the bottom right, I did exactly the same thing rotated my stencil at 15 degrees, but blending with another color. Now let's turn these backgrounds into cards. I cut the pink background into quarters, then stamped out a different sentiment on each one and added card bases to make four cards, each measuring 4 inches by 4 inches. For my next background, I created a square line at the center, folded it in half and popped it onto a black card base for the contrast, while adhering it offset to one side for a wide asymmetric border. I also white heat embossed a scripty sentiment from our So Blessed stamp set to finish it off. With my last two backgrounds, I cut them into wide strips, mixed and glued pieces from both backgrounds onto light pink card panels and then onto white card bases to make two slim nine cards. I hope you enjoyed the inspirations from this video. Please subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching.